Good evening. The case of the counterfeit cash is turning out to be a big deal. Los Lunas police yesterday arrested a man and accused him of making and passing his own money from Albuquerque to Berlin. And Kim Vias reports tonight detectives think that's not the only scam he's been pulling. He was um, manufacturing money, signing false checks and forged checks and uh, basically making it into a business. And it was a lucrative business. Los Lunas police found $2,363 in counterfeit cash in the home of Patrick Gugino this week. They and Belen police have been tracking this guy for several months. It all started with a Domino's delivery driver. He then attempted to pass a $20 bill which did not appear right to the employee of Domino's. She handed it back said, no, that one's no good. Give me something else. He then gave her a 50 and a she felt it was not correct either, gave it back, took her pizzas and left. She then called police and identified Gugino as the guy who gave her the funny money. A guy Belen police already knew. He was a suspect in a crime in April. They say he was forging payroll checks from P&M and giving them to several people to cash, none of which were really P&M employees. Together, Belen police say they stole $7,756.95. Gugino is also accused of passing fake money at businesses all over Valencia County, some near Albuquerque. Some have even surfaced at an area bank. And police say some businesses may have unknowingly passed it on to customers. The more counterfeit money that's turned over and linked to Gugino, the bigger the case gets. And it is already extremely big. All of this is just from the last couple weeks. Police are just glad they got this guy when they did. They don't think he's going anywhere. He's currently incarcerated and doesn't appear as though anybody's going to bail him out or I don't think uh, the, the bail bondsman will accept counterfeit money for to be bailed. Kim Baez, KRQ News 13. Probably not. Police believe Gugino was making the fake money to support his drug habit. Investigators have also arrested six other people who they believe have been passing his fake checks and money. They all face fraud charges.